So much stuff to get to in this brew review, including the brand new 2024 Richardson's painted leather trucker cap and the brand new, already sold out, a Beer Snob's Cheap Brew Review pint glass right after this. And welcome to the beer garden and happy new year. And I usually don't timestamp uh, reviews like this because really when you put something on YouTube, it lives on the internet forever. Rarely do people watch it as soon as I post it, but thank you if you have. So I am going to timestamp this is, is uh, New Year's Eve, 2023 about to turn to 2024. We have a brand new Richardson's painted leather trucker cap coming up and a brand new 2024 pint glass to reveal as we are here in the harsh lighting in front of the fireless pit for 2024. Hey, and also I want to know where you're watching from around the world, uh, town and state or town and country. And a big shout out to Joliet, Illinois, watching us. Helena, Montana. I grew up in Kalispell, Montana. Not yeah, it, it is far from Helena, but anyway, Winnipeg, Canada. Thank you for watching. And Cardiff, Wales, rounding out the international viewing audience. And with January here, 2024, I'm going to try something I've never done before called Dry January. This is the 10th anniversary of Dry January. This is where people try to abstain from alcohol uh, for the month of January. Uh, maybe if you're like a lot of people starting with COVID, you started uh, tipping a few too many and you're kind of realizing, whoa, maybe I need to slow down now. It started in 2013 in the UK and really it just has become quite a phenomenon across the world, Dry January. And so in honor of Dry January, the entire month of January here on the Brew Review are non-alcohol beers. I know. I actually, I literally made sure nobody was watching me when I bought this Coors Edge non-alcohol brew. More on this in just a minute, but it is time to get to the reveal of the brand new Richardson's Painted Leather tr Trucker Cap for 2024 and the brand new sold out pint glass for 2024. So here we go. Boom! What do you think, huh? Yeah, already sold out. The green painted leather Richardson's trucker cap for 2024. And we will be serving up the green label for 2024 here in the beer garden. You never drink alone. 2024. Very nice. Already sold out. I know, I know. Hey, thank you guys for your support all the way from 2019. I had to go back and check the brew review, see how many videos. I, I'm up to right around 200 brew reviews. And thank you guys for supporting it. Uh, all right, time to pop the top on this 0% alcohol malt beverage with natural flavor added to it. And I, I don't get the whole uh, no alcohol beer. I just don't understand. It, it's like having adult relations after you've had a vasectomy, I'm guessing. I wouldn't know. Uh, it's like dating a supermodel but insisting she keep a bag on her head. I, I, I don't get the point. All right, let's go ahead and twist off this twist off cap. <coughs> Sign of a cheap brew right there on this Coors Edge. Not cheap, no alcohol, and it was $9.99 a six pack on sale. Uh, that just that's insult to injury right there kicking you when you're down uh okay time for the pour into the brand new green label for 2024 uh I, I, and again i'm in a little lewis and clark here i'm in unchartered territory i have no idea how this is gonna go but because of dry january we are featuring non-alcohol beers uh, all month long and somebody tell me down below is it non-alcohol or non-alcoholic it says non-alcoholic on the label is that just because it's an adjective alcoholic or non-alcohol because i thought a person who drinks alcohol excessively is an alcoholic so anyway down below if you would uh, like to opine you never drink alone 2024 all right looks like a beer it is not a beer according to the label it is a brew and it is a malt beverage with natural flavor all right time for the nose shall we oh oh how can it it smells so bad it smells like the floor of a dive bar 
absolutely losing the head. I don't even know how they make this type of beverage. I literally do not know how. Uh, if you happen to know, please let us know down below. Not a whole lot to go from here. There's really no smell other than just stank. Essence of uh, sort of like a back alley dumpster. I, know, I, I hate to brag, but I'm just checking out the, uh, the new hat and the new pint glass. And that green looks really good for the new year. Let's go ahead and down this. Hey, and once again, you never drink alone. So grab yourself a brew and uh, let's go. <clears throat> Cheers. Uh, it's a cold day here, New Year's Eve, in the beer garden. Last day, last few hours of 2023. Dry January, about to kick off, and my gosh, that is heinous. Hold up the bottle, they say. Sorry, Coors Edge, zero percent alcohol at ten bucks a six pack. It smells awful. And uh, that is uh, better than it tastes. It's weird. Uh, there's a... You don't get any beer flavor at all. I don't know what natural flavors they added to this because it's nothing. There's almost like a chemical taste to it. I have no idea why you would buy this or drink this. I can see I'm a practical joker. Uh, maybe I will donate the rest of this six pack to somebody as a practical joke. I literally do not know how to describe what this is, this fluid. Uh, no flavor. Uh, there's a sharp metallic taste to it, even though it came out of a bottle. Uh, what edge they're talking about, I have no idea. Uh, it's pretty much a waste of electricity even producing this fluid no flavor i i i don't know what to say other than that as i slam the bottle down uh drinking it fast doesn't help what would you pair this with nothing uh why would you drink this who would be drinking this no one i know of uh, I'm going to give you my score here in just a second. If you haven't told me what town and state or town and country you're viewing from, uh, please do so. Happy New Year. Out of five stars for Dry January, our first ever non-alcohol ick beer is Coors Edge. And can we give less than a one star? Is, is that possible? All right. I'm going to have to put you down for a half a star uh, of first uh, a number of firsts here for 2024 in the Brew Review. New merch, already sold out. Uh, Non-alcohol beer, sounds like a bad idea now that we uh, are taking on dry January. And our lowest score ever, if I'm not mistaken, at a half a star out of five. So uh, God bless you people for hanging in for the rides. Please sub and thank you for your support if you haven't subbed already. And let me know what you think about non-alcohol beers or non non alcohol ick beers. Maybe that's why they call it alcohol ick. Uh, brews. Is there one you would like to see me review for dry January? Please in the comments below. Uh, that would be awesome. And uh, check out some more of my almost 200 brew reviews to date. All the other ones are have alcohol in them. So there you go. Rest assured. And hey, it's a beautiful day here as we're winding out 2023. Just a few more hours left as we put that time stamp on this video. Rarely do that, but hey, it's a special occasion. So hey, I appreciate your sub and support. Grab yourself a beer. Happy New Year. Cheers. I'll see you in the next brew review.